This is Boxing Tickets NA. We're here at the MHD Promotions Fist of Fury show and delighted to be joined with Victorious Colm Murphy. Colm, I was saying the obviously just before we started, it seems to be the start of each year you start with a stoppage. Obviously, I think it was March of last year you had a fifth round stoppage one. I think a year before I had a second round stoppage one. You seem to like to start the year off with a bang. Yeah, look, uh, I wish the fight could have went on a wee bit longer there and maybe get a more punishing stoppage, but I can only beat who's in front of me and uh, your man was shelling up. I heard Hugh Russell say, you need to show me something, so I was turning up a gear you know, to get that and still pacing myself accordingly. So, look, uh, hopefully I'll be back out soon enough and get more rounds and uh, so I still know that uh, I've got a lot to still improve on to keep going forward, especially with this, you know, Commonwealth title coming up, so still very grateful for everyone for coming out and supporting me, so hopefully, yeah, I can just keep busy for all of these. Obviously, with that being a, I, I just sort of posted obviously the result there as well, with it being a Commonwealth eliminator, there's obviously, there's, there's Commonwealth belt and the Commonwealth silver, now, do you know which eliminator that's for? Was it for for the full Commonwealth, or was it for the silver, or was it for either, either of them? I, I'm not sure really how it works, I know uh, just Mark got me this opportunity and I was very grateful for and like, yeah, like hopefully uh, either belt, like the Commonwealth Silver is a beautiful belt. Like I, w- I would love that one first maybe. So if you have to get that one first, that's what I would like to challenge for. And uh, definitely know that uh, if I keep my head on track, I, I can win that title. But just got to keep grinding, keep improving because, you know, still young. With obviously both them belts at the moment, I think they're both with obviously Frank Warren fighters. Obviously, I think Nathaniel Collins is one and Masood Masu- Masu- is the other one. Obviously, it's about time, probably, I guess, maybe a, maybe a wee away day. You've obviously mentioned before, you like a wee away day somewhere. You're obviously you're happy to go and fight either of these guys on, on any Frank Warren show, no matter where it is. Yeah, well, an away day, my fans have been buzzing to ask for that. Uh, everyone's coming to these small halls in Europa, and as I was saying in uh, one of my previous interviews, you know, you're not making much money here or anything like that, but me getting to 10 and 0, mostly from these small hall fights, is probably actually setting me up for maybe hopefully a big payday down the line on one of the big shows. So as I said, I'm only 24, a few years, maybe I can cash in and get a mortgage or something, get a house in my own. So uh, that's it, I'm just going to stay humble, uh, keep training hard and uh, hopefully good things keep coming. I guess it's a perfect start obviously under your new trainer, obviously in Dan Boyle as well. Obviously Dan was involved with James Tennyson for many years and he loved to stop with your two. So I'm sure obviously there's wee things he's implementing into your game there now. It's probably turning into a vicious Colin Murphy whenever you're inside the ring. Well, we did spend a lot of time watching this guy together and uh, making a game plan and I did execute the game plan. So, as I said, I wish, you know, the fight could have went on longer. So maybe we could have maybe stopped him to the body or something because some of them were hurting him. But look, uh, I'm just grateful for the experience. Grateful to be back out here so soon. So thanks to Mark for getting me out there. And uh, thanks to everyone, especially my previous team, for being a part of the journey and getting me to where I am because I'll never forget what people have done for me. We obviously know you love chicken wings, and, and obviously the last time we done an interview, obviously, have you, have you had many chicken wings? Obviously, with no fight from October to, to now, have you, were you sort of able to enjoy Christmas before you and they come for a fight with your chicken wings? Well, I did enjoy my Christmas dinner and stuff like that, but honestly, I had no c- celebration boxes or anything like that, so as, if you can tell, like, uh, especially with being a pound under, making February again for the first time in a while, you know, I was very dedicated with my diet and stuff like that, so, you know, I'll keep doing keeping that under check and I definitely hurt myself a few cheap meals here now but yeah and um, really looking forward to going out and supporting Conor Quinn here now and hopefully he gets another stoppage too. Big one. Just obviously finally obviously when are you hoping to get back out? Obviously there's seven shows already announced in the first three months in Irish boxing this year. We seem to be in for a bumper year so I guess obviously but probably it's whenever you really want to get back out against probably you know I guess you probably maybe fight next week as well we know what you're like. Well, I will. I've earned myself a wee bit of a rest period now, but I love training, training's my life. I'm looking forward to just getting back out and training too. But um, yeah, look, I'll take my, myself open the opportunities that present themselves, but ultimately Mark makes the decisions. But yeah, I'll be watching. Listen, thanks very much for your time. Obviously, congratulations on moving to 10-0, and I'm sure we'll catch up with you soon. Yeah, thank you very much, Stevie. Keep it lit.